my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the mid-month love reading for all zodiac signs this is going to be for libra's uh, sun moon and rising for the mid-month of january 2018 let's see what spirit has for you guys for the mid-month of january i've been shuffling the cards for quite a while for time purposes and i feel this is going to be the last shuffle all right, let's see what Spirit has for you guys regarding your love life, Libras. Libras, you have the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Oh, wow. And the Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. Partner's cards is the Shadow Side, the Hermit. Wow. And the Empress. Current situation is... All right. Wow. All right, Libras, you guys are definitely being shaken at the middle of the month going into February. You do have the Justice card here at the center, and this is being represented as the current situation. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with karmatic cycles. A lot of you guys are going to have to revisit the past, um, as the Justice card is definitely a symbolization of karma uh, to its core more than anything. And it could represent, again, like I said, dealing with past lovers, uh, dealing with people that you had connections with, uh, specifically spiritual connections, uh, connections that go to a deeper level. And the reason I say that is because uh, behind the Justice card is a purple veil. I'm not sure if you can see it, but this is very, very prominent and it is vibrating very strongly. So uh, purple to me represents everything to do with spirituality. So... Uh, this is karmatic energies that you're going to have to be dealing with for the remaining of the month going into February. Again, like I said, most of these cards are major arcanas. So again, uh, the major arcanas are always a representation of not everyday mundane type of things, but things of the spiritual nature. Now, again, like I said, the justice card is being here uh, represented as pretty much balancing everything. This is your card, Libra. So you guys are going to feel much more in control. You're going to feel much more clear in regards to what you want or in regards to uh, dealing with uh, almost getting to the point of cutting uh, or taking care of loose ends from things of the past and being able to cut through them and move forward from here on out. Now, you do have the Eight of Wands here, and this is how you're viewing your partner um, the Eight of Wands, quick communication coming back and forth. The Ace of Wands is definitely a new passion being ignited. For some of you guys, you guys currently started communicating or will be communicating with a fire sign, a Sagittarius, Aries, or Libra, uh, sorry, uh, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. For others of you guys, you guys may be uh, reaching out to a Earth sign, which would be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Nonetheless, again, like I said, there's quick communication coming back and forth. The Ace of Wands is a new passion being ignited or rekindling. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles is a promise for something long term. Now, the cards that are being reflected here in regards to your partner is the Shadow side. The Shadow side in this deck is definitely the Devil card. So again, Capricorn is very strong or prominent in this reading. Uh, the Shadow side is definitely this is how your partner is viewing you or viewing the situation. And the Shadow side, again, like I said, it's the Devil card. So it could represent a bit of... Uh, them holding on to a grudge or uh, it could be the fact that uh, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with an ex-partner that was, you know, addicted to either alcohol or addicted to some type of drugs, uh, could be painkillers, could be anything of that nature. But there's definitely, an, uh, you know, uh, obsessive type of a behavior here. Nonetheless, uh, they are able to pull away from that or pull away if there was any grudges or anything when this communication happens. Uh, there's definitely going to be, you know, basically mending um, whatever it was that was left unsaid or was left undone. And you're going to be okay with that and you're going to be able to move on. Now, how your partner's viewing you with the hermit, uh, this is definitely talking about spirits guiding them. I feel that for some of you guys, you guys are being guided uh, towards the person that is right for you, towards the person that you know was very connected spiritually to you. As the Empress is all about loving, it's all about nurturing. Uh, for some of you Libras, it could represent that perhaps you guys are being led or being guided towards a person that you dealt with in the past that was very nurturing, very loving to you, very unconditional. 
Um, and again, like I said, uh, this is how your partner is viewing you. Um, and them seeing you or being guided towards you is going to bring not just abundance in every single aspect of your life, but you guys are going to be able to grow in this relationship, whether it's something long-term, whether it's marriage. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be um, uh, being married, but more than married, uh, being married in a, you know, a soul contract. Uh, so I feel that for a lot of you guys, you guys are going to be revisiting the past or going towards the past or towards a person that was very nurturing to you, very loving to you. And again, um, being able to rekindle that. Now, for those of you guys that are single or have been single for quite a while, there's quick communication coming back and forth. Uh, this could be with the person through social media. Uh, the Ace of Wands is, again, passion being ignited. Nonetheless, you have the Ace of Pentacles. So there is a promise for something long term here. Now, how your partner is viewing you at the present time, perhaps they're viewing you as a little bit more of the protective or a bit jealous type. So make sure to keep that on check, Libra. And the Hermit card is definitely talking about a person that's been single for quite a while. And they almost, you know, uh, they pretty much enjoy and love the fact that they're being single at the present time or that they have been single for a while. Nonetheless, the Empress is a very, um, they're viewing you as a person that is loving and caring and perhaps uh, them willing or wanting to uh, pretty much balance the decision of whether they should give up their freedom uh, to be with you. Um, I feel that at, in the end, uh, you will be, you know, you will be, the scales will be balanced and you will be given that opportunity. So major transformation energy here for you, Libras. I wish you guys the very best. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like, comment, and share. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe and we'll see each other soon. Okay. Bye.